Please put your hands together for Shannon Cook. Shannon Cook. How you guys doing tonight? Yeah. Ready for some white girl comedy? <laughs> Said about no one ever. Uh -uh. Don't lie, if this was on Comedy Central, you'd all be changing the channel right now. But something has to break up this sausage fest lineup, and it's me. <laughs> and ironically, I'll have more dick jokes than them. <laughs> So, a buffet and a comedy show, huh? You guys really know how to kick it up on a Saturday night? It's kind of like going to a casino without all that pesky gambling and prostitution. Good for you. Good for you. So, um, I'm noticing beards are making a big comeback these days. Anybody else notice this? And it's a good look, but I feel like there's something kind of deceptive about them. Like, how do we really know what's going on under there, ladies? There could be a hair lip mouth herpes, or worse, an Enrique Iglesias mole. <laughs> we just don't know. And in this day and age, I feel like beards are kind of society's ultimate fuck you to women. It's like, hey ladies, we're gonna need you to rip all your vagina hair out by the root, and then have a seat on this Brillo pad. <laughs> Would you like that? <laughs> Thanks for the labia exfoliation, fuckers. <laughs> it's like a free spa treatment. <laughs> so um, I'm back in the local dating pool these days, which as it turns out is more like a creek with a dead squirrel in it. <laughs> Just shallow and full of disease. <laughs> And um, I'm noticing some really interesting differences between the way that guys and girls relate to being single. Like when a guy says that he's single, he is so excited. It's like he just did a rail of coke off of a stripper's ass. <laughs> when a girl says she's single though, it's like she's magically transported somewhere where she's wearing pajama pants covered in cake crumbs. <laughs> Not even good cake. Like two in the morning gas station entomans. <laughs> Mascara just running down her face. Sad. I think the only time I see a girl excited to be single is when she just got out of a long-term bad relationship. You know the kind, where suddenly you feel like you just got out of prison, and it's like, oh, finally. No one's watching me take a shit, and I can just rub one out in peace. <laughs> so, uh, speaking of which, anybody here watch porn? Anybody? This table, come on. <laughs> and the rest of you are goddamn liars. <laughs> Um, I like porn as much as the next person. I just wish the tags and descriptions on them were a little more honest and thorough. Because you know what ruins my day? Unexpected fisting. <laughs> Every time you're in the zone, things seem to be progressing naturally, then blow, elbow deep. <laughs> like, now I just feel like I can't trust you anymore, Pornhub. It's like I don't even know you. Um, watching porn the other day and I decided to try something different so I clicked on the porn for women category which turned out to be an enormous waste of my time there was like an actual plot line and nice music everything had that kind of airbrushed look to it like a graduation photo I was like yeah this isn't porn I want grimy porn Something where, like, by the end of it, it looks like she's been crying a little. <laughs> I should have stayed in community college. <laughs> we're, like, halfway through, the cameraman just says, fuck it, and, like, puts the camera down on some tabletop covered in coke residue and just jumps in there. Real porn. <laughs> um, it's hard. It's hard to meet new people, around here especially, you know? It seems like everybody knows everybody. So, ladies... If you can find yourself a man that hasn't already banged at least two of your friends, you fucking marry him. That's my advice to you. Um, it's hard for me, especially, because I don't really do the whole club scene. First of all, it's too loud. And if I wanted some strange man to rub himself on me, I'd just get on the train. <laughs> but I think the biggest problem with it is that I don't dance. Or, I'm going to rephrase that, I shouldn't dance. Because if I get enough to drink, I'll get out there like Britney after the breakdown, no lie. But um, you're not going to meet your husband that way. And I can drop it like it's hot. There's just no guarantee I'm picking it back up again. <laughs> and on the rare occasion I do decide to go out, I always forget the law of comparisons. So I insist on going out with all my itty bitty gorgeous girlfriends. They always have names like Bree and Kayla. 
And this is a huge mistake on my part. Because if Leif decides that you're the girl version of Seth Rogen, stop hanging out with fucking James Franco. <laughs> you go find yourself a female Jonah Hill to stand next to. <laughs> There's a reason Kourtney Kardashian's always hanging out with Chloe. <laughs> Th that was the deal breaker for you guys. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I feel like society kind of foists this upon us, you know? Like, the media just makes it really easy for guys to objectify women these days. For men, it's like, oh, she's got big tits, nice ass, all that bullshit. For girls, it's more like, well, he has no felonies, <laughs> all his own teeth, and just one baby mama. So you know what, you guys? This could be it. <laughs> might do the one. And have you ever noticed the first thing a girl wants to do in a new relationship is take lots of pictures together? You guys know, I can tell. I think for us, posting pictures of the two of us together on Facebook is kind of the equivalent of making a kill and then dragging it up into a tree. <laughs> like an emotionally vulnerable leopard. We want everyone to see that shit, but nobody's taking it. And I just feel like it's not the same for guys. They're never quite as keen on this. The only time I've ever seen a guy amped to take a selfie is if you're giving him dome on a tractor or something. <laughs> Which, by the way, ladies, is never a good idea. We call that one the country blumpkin. <laughs> I've been trying to expand my horizons with dating lately kind of trying out different age groups, getting out of my comfort zone, but it turns out that they all suck. Like, dating an older guy is kind of like adopting a shelter dog. <laughs> Society kind of tricks us into thinking this is a good idea, but ultimately you're just gonna end up with something neurotic that's already damaged by someone else. <laughs> and on the opposite end, if you wanna be a cougar, dating a younger guy is kind of like getting a puppy. You have to train them. There's a good chance you got it on impulse while at the mall. And ultimately, it's going to cost you a lot of money, and it's going to try and hump all your friends. <laughs> oh, happy medium. But it, it does get easier and easier to settle as you get older. Like, I just turned 30 recently, so I'm just starting to feel that kind of desperation find myself shoplifting for pat-downs. I don't even get tension headaches anymore. I get sexual tension headaches. And I'm not the type to take an Advil or a Tylenol. I take roofies. <laughs> don't laugh, it works every time. As soon as my head starts to hurt, I take a roofie, and by the time I wake up, the only thing that hurts is my asshole. So you know what? Straight off. And um, speaking of roofies, I was at a bar recently. This is an absolutely true story. I had a guy send me a drink with the message, I want to fuck you like a mermaid. I know. I wanted to be disgusted by that too, but most of me was like, I kind of want to find out what that means. <laughs> at this point, if I go on a date and I don't wake up the next morning in a bathtub full of ice missing a kidney, that date went well. <laughs> and even if I did, he was nice enough to leave me in an ice bath with one fully functional kidney. So you know what? I hope he calls me. <laughs> and it's funny, it's really, it's kind of weird actually. Every time a guy breaks up with me, they always say the exact same thing. They're all like, um, we were never actually dating. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, okay. If that's true, why would you tell me where you live if you didn't want to find a dead cat in your mailbox? <laughs> Don't give me those judgmental looks. It wasn't even his cat. Well, that's my time, you guys. Thank you so much. <laughs>